So hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 part 2 of my Greyhack tutorial series where I do another academic changes to get like a good broad spread of all the things you may encounter when you do this yourself. Uh, hopefully you like the last one. I'm actually just recording this straight after the last episode I did so I won't have seen any new comments or feedback you may have left but hopefully I'm still doing good and still once again thanks for the comments it is a marvelous and great motivator if you could add subscribing and liking to the <laughs> to the list I guess that would also be greatly appreciate yeah, appreciated as that would make my day like yeah that would make my day I always enjoy helping people and stuff and now I'm rambling but let's get get into it so once again go into the hack shop now the exploits for me won't have refreshed as it has not been passed well actually no they might have refreshed if depending how long that I took with the last one but we'll find out as we go so another academic changes here except and once again go into mail now I would delete these but I found that once you get a new email it kind of refreshes and springs them all back not sure if I'm just doing something wrong but I uh, don't know it's a little annoying but I deal with it anyway so here we go so same thing modify except instead of increasing it by one point we have to increase it to approved at least now that is around about seven to nine for the approved range well basically anything over seven point anything so let's get our terminal again now the reason why I'm not going through the um, through the map here and bouncing my connection all over the place is because basically it's just a little bit of housekeeping for me so I don't have to keep downloading the exploits onto my fault computer and then transferring them over to the computer that I'm bounced through in single player you don't have to worry much as I don't think I've ever encountered someone tracing my hack or anything or even an admin so you don't have to worry too much in single player multiplayer that's another story and once I've gotten a bear grasp around it which is much different from single player um, I'll start a tutorial series for that one as well but so just grab an M map of the IP address now this one does not look nice whatsoever it does have an HTTP though which is nice because FTP is just f you can't do anything like you can't access f um, student viewer you the only thing you can do with FTP is copy files look what's in folders get and put files places and that's pretty much all you can't open a file explorer you can't open any programs nothing just placing and moving files so since we've got an HTTP we can use our last program in which case this may be easier than than I would have thought but <laughs> it's easy don't complain so just do HTTP shell then the IP then the port enter and once again <laughs> uh, last episode I did say that I probably wouldn't encounter things quite so easily so either I'm having a great run of luck which would be bad because that means I would instead of having to do three of these 
have to do many more to get a good spread of what they all are like. If I get another one like this though, I probably will not show it as <laughs> showing the easy things never helps anyone. In fact, really the only reason I'm keeping this is because you can see the FTP um, ports so it gives you a bit more of an idea what you can find. You can also see how the first port, the first FTP is 21 which is the standard default one and then you have two more which is different numbers. But since we've got access we just do file explorer once again, student viewer and then we have to find Catalina I'm not going to even try and pronounce that last name and change the abysmal level score to an 8.1 and save is that Catlana? is that a girl? I'm not 100% sure uh, it sounds like a girl but I'm not going <laughs> to <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more about that and then we just reply with done. And once again, it's completed with another $200, which I'll show. Another $200 right here. So, not the best way to make money, but if you get easy ones like this, then it doesn't hurt, I guess. Every little, every dollar's a uh, another drop in the ocean that you need it's not really an ocean but metaphors right and this took a total of seven minutes I'm pretty sure a minute or two was just me doing an introduction though <laughs> so well like five minutes so uh, yeah since that was so easy and nothing else was really done this will also be part three and four <laughs> instead of, wait what Part 2 and 3. Getting confused with episode numbers. At least it wasn't so long as like in my last episode where I had two brain.exes stop working. That was amusing t to say the least. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's try our luck with another one. So accept another one. Don't need this anymore. Just exit out of this. Clear the clutter. And now we have another one. And for some strange reason, I am confused because now... See, whenever you say something doesn't work, it will then work next time. Anyway, so now we've got to change the physics level by at least one point. So that probably means they're not doing abysmally in it then. They're just not doing the best they want. Uh, so nmap the IP. Oh, for crying! It. Okay, you know what? <sighs> this is really annoying. I'm not gonna even bother doing this. It's literally the same as the first one I did. Look, I'll leave. Look, just HTTP shell. Oh, whoops! I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, getting a little. Eager, little jumping the gun. And we're in again. Like, uh, this is meant to be a tutorial. How's it a tutorial if it's all the same? Uh, I'm just gonna do it. But, uh, God. I'm not very lucky. <laughs> Uh, done. Yep. Uh, okay, let's try and find another one and then I'll call it uh, good for the episode. But, oh boy. <laughs> How many is that? That's like, oh, I don't know, but at least three that have all been the same. <laughs> I only need one program for. Yeesh. Now, 
I also have gained some information that I probably should mention now before I forget um, that I didn't mention earlier on about your reputation. Now where you find that is you go up to the top right left hand corner even, I know my directions, and you go into preferences. Then you go into users and then you click on your profile. As you can see here, I'm level 1 with a reputation of 375 out of 1875. So I got reputation of 1, which means that I can now go to a crap data and click accept. If I could, if I didn't have that level of reputation, then it would just wouldn't allow me to say I need a reputation of 1. But that's where you find your reputation. That's what I was illustrating with that one. Uh, anyway, let's do another one and see if it's going to be lucky for me. So, you know the drill. Grab that, copy, and map, and paste. Ah, here we go. Now this is something a bit more interesting. Although, I'm pretty certain I could just do this with an HTTP shell which I'll prove right now. If it does work once again, I am... Okay, so that worked. Now, what's th how this is going to work is because this is coming up to past 11 minutes, well, it's already past 10 minutes, so I want to wrap this up a bit quickly. So what this is going to do is, since I've been able to do all of these programs with one exploit, I am now going to complete this mission, but show how you can do this and the aspects of the FTP and the SSH. So even though I can do it with the HTTP, not everyone will have access to that exploit. So hopefully I can use the SSH and FTP. Um, but yeah, so just going to quickly finish this off. File Explorer. <laughs> sure, you know how to do this by now. And here we go. And increase it to an 8.6. Save it. Exit it. Exit that. And then just reply. Done. And send. Once again, satisfied and completed. Now, I rushed through this because I'm just showing how to do the mission and the contract, not showing you every little detail about getting all the bank details from everyone on each IP address. I possibly will go back afterwards and do that in my own time to save a very boring video of just seeing me getting paydays, which is seriously tedious. Unless, of course, you really want that and if I get like a comment saying that you want that then sure I'll do it I won't be too happy by it but I'll do it I'll put some music over it as you will if you don't know then you can look back um, to see how I do it properly with um, a full explanation Please, if anyone has better knowledge than this and sees something I'm doing wrong, please let me know and I will re remedy it immediately, well, by immediately my next video, and I'll appreciate it a lot. Now, my I just got a brain freeze, um, well, no, not a brain freeze, I've lost my train of thought of what I was going to say before this. Um, oh, blast. I, uh, I'm sure I'll remember it sometime. It'll probably be after I record this too. But, uh, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it wasn't too dull, since I could do all of the same thing with one exploit. And, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. So, bye, and have a good day, Reapers.